Branding is important when it comes to your affiliate website. It's basically what helps to show you as an authority and helps to build trust. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logo for your affiliate website so that you can help improve your branding. Hey there ninjas, this is Martin and in this video I'm going to show you exactly what I do step by step when I create a logo for my affiliate website. This is going to help improve the overall look of your website, it's going to help to build trust with your visitors and that's ultimately going to help to grow your authority within your niche. Let's face it, if you have a poor quality logo or you just use the site title on the WordPress site people are not going to trust it as much and therefore they're just going to leave. So why not help build my brand in by hitting that thumbs up and why not subscribe so that you can tell YouTube that you trust me and want to see more of my content. So let's get to the laptop and we'll start creating the logo for our affiliate website. So here we are on Canva um, and I really like Canva. It's such a good um, graphic tool for um, you know, not necessarily graphically inclined people to, to make some decent um, stuff for the website. Um, it's good for logos, good for featured images. Um, and it's good just for resizing images for your actual content as well. So to be honest, it's a really good tool. Um, and they do have a free version, which is more than enough for creating a logo. Um, the paid version is around about $10 a month, but that does unlock a lot of the stock footage and also some of the additional clip party kind of items. So um, definitely worthwhile if you plan to use it for um, your entire website. Um, $10 a month is, is pretty, pretty fair. So I've got a template here for a logo. Size wise, it's 500 pixels width and 100 pixels high. Um, tends to be the default size that I go for when using Generate Press. Um, and I've just zoomed the screen in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. Um, and then I simply go to elements and then type in the niche and then the click on graphics, which you can see I've already started to do. Um, now I'm going to do two logos just to show the examples. The first one's going to be fitness. And then the next one I'll do um, something in a different niche, maybe karate or something. I'm not, not fully decided yet. Um, so what I tend to do is just go through the graphics um, under here and it shows this clip art kind of um, graphical representations, which I think are, are pretty cool. Um, and I'll just go through these and kind of grab one which I quite like. So there was one up here that I liked, which was this one. I think this one's pretty cool. Um, so we'll bring that here. And then we'll pull that out. Now, I don't know, to be honest, if I'm much of a fan of the face. Um, so let's just have a look, see what else there is that's related. So that was quite good instead, actually. So we could try that one, maybe. Bring that back here. Pop that there. And then if you've got your, your brand colors, so you know what colors you want, you can actually just use this and adding your, your brand colors in there as well. Um, so we might go for something like that. Um, I don't actually like that, to be honest. Let's try something else. I don't like um, how there's not actually that much color to it. So let's have a quick look to see what else there is. Um, you could be here for, for hours just looking at, at different graphics and it's, you know, you can be there for a while. But there's some, some really good ones that really, um, work well and the reason why i like to use a graphic like this is just because it tells people straight away what the website is about so this is going to be a fitness site so we can see straight away that it must be about fitness if there's a you know muscular person there um so it kind of just somebody can just look at the site the logo straight away and know exactly what that's for so i quite like this one um yeah that one's good so let's bosh that one there make it full size and I don't know if I can I can zoom out a little bit like that so that's good and then we can add in some text so I'll just go to text headline and we'll call it fitness 
and we'll pop that there, make it bigger. And then we'll copy paste that and uh, builder. So that's pretty good. Um, might want to make it bigger once we pick the font. So then I'll go for the font. And with that, I want to kind of go for something that is related to the niche. So fitness is obviously, you know, quite hard. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but something like Chewy is quite a soft um, kind of font. That's really something that I'd expect on, say, like a pet blog or um, food blog or a hobby niche or something like that. So you want to think about the font and have it related to the, the niche that you're in. Um, and you definitely want to stay away from any kind of italic fonts like this one. Um, it's just really, really difficult to read. What you want is just somebody to look at your logo and know straight away what what it what it's all about, what the website's about, because that's what's going to keep them on site. Um, personally, I like this ganglin, so we'll keep that one. I think that looks pretty good, and we'll make it a bit bigger, so something like that. Um, I have this one as a different font. I think I don't think we'll keep it as the same font as this one. I made this a bit smaller actually. So I quite like it when it kind of fits in nicely like that. Um, I think that's good. One thing you could do if you wanted to make this bit bigger, um, you could do this and make this one, make this tiny and kind of fit that in there. That could work quite well. Um, yeah, let's see. So that's not too bad, actually. I think that looks looks quite quite cool. I think it'll be quite difficult to see that. So I think we will um, undo that, actually, and keep that dude there. I mean, we could have this smaller like that. I don't think that looks too bad. Um, and then the colors again. So with colors, you want to, again, think about the niche that you're in. So something like fitness might be bold colors. It might be... Um, blacks, blacks, um, there's a lot of psychology around colours. Um, so you just want to look into to that. Um, black always goes well with um, shopping, fitness, masculinity. Um, you know, you're more pinks, purples are more um, feminine, more luxurious with purple. Um, green is often referred to like nature and wealth. So if it's a, a money niche, then you might look at green. If it's um, health and fitness, then you might also look at green as well because of the the um, earth kind of earthy connection. Um, red is normally like aggression. So I personally would prefer to use red for um, something involved more like my call to actions to make them really pop and stand out. Um, yellow is again down to trust, money, those, those kind of things. Um, blue is good for health. You know, you always see... Um, logos like the NHS uses blue because blue is often referred to for for health and um, calmness and things like that. Um, so just have a think on the colours that you're using and how they fit in well with your niche. If you've got a an outdoor blog, for instance, then you might go for something like greens or browns because of the nature. Um, if you've got money, then you might again think about um, black or yellow um, or even green. Um, health and fitness, again, you might think black, blues, uh, toned down reds, those kind of things I think work work really well. Um, but just have a think about your, your niche that you're in. Um, so for this, I'm going to look at the colors and I have to find that this blue works quite well. Um, more than likely, when you start creating multiple websites, you'll find color combinations that that you just really like to work with and just think that look quite good. Um, red, again, like I say, use it sparingly, but that looks quite nice. I do quite like that. Um, and I think it goes well with this black as well. So I might be tempted to use that. Um, so I think that looks pretty good, to be fair. Um, so there we go, a quick, simple logo. You could change this for a different font if you wanted to. Um, but I think personally that looks pretty decent. Um, and that'll look nice on the top of a, a WordPress site. 
Um, and then you just do a, a, a social one, which would be 500 by 500. Um, and then, so let's just do that now. Let's create a new one. So we'll resize uh, 500 by 500. Copy and resize. And all we'd do here is bring this guy up here, make it bigger, uh, center align it, bring these down, make these bigger as well. Uh, this one could fit quite nicely in line with that. And there you have it. So a social logo created quite quickly just from this first first one and this literally just took a, a couple of minutes to, to make so it doesn't take long at all um now if i was to do a different niche so let's do one on um camping let's do one on camping um recently brought a, a new tent so hopefully do a bit of camping in the summer um so for this one i might choose obviously a tent so that it's related to the niche so um that one looks pretty good maybe well, it's animation we don't want animation um let's have a look so keep going something will pop out um let's have a look so let's flood that baby um Any more, any more? Oh, that's pretty good. So we might have that like that. That looks good. And then we'll go for our text and we'll add our text and camping. This time we'll change the font to, I think, Chewy. That looks pretty good. Um, so we'll put that there. Oops, not that high up and we'll copy paste and maybe camping life camping lifestyle get it kind of in line obviously it depends on what your your domain name is in your, your website but i think that looks pretty good and we'll make this smaller we'll make this one smaller as well it's just a little bit too big we'll put this up That font that doesn't really. Uh, that's not too bad actually. No, I think that's that's not too bad. And we'll change the color of this one to a nice outdoor green. Um, but I think what I'll do is have a look at that green, and then we'll get this one and potentially have this one as this blue, just to tie the logo in, um, or potentially the orange. Uh, no, maybe the darker orange actually, looking at it. Let's go for the, this dark orange. So yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, Nah, that looks good. Um, so yeah, there we go. A another logo done in literally two, three minutes, um, and that in itself, like I say, is just going to help to build up the the look and the authority of your website, help to build trust, which is just going to help to improve sales. Um, so I hope that helped. Um, like I say, comment in the the comments below um, if you've got any questions, and I'll see you next time. So bye for now.